carpet table doubles up as a, as a uh, workmate. So that's what we like. One thing doing two jobs. That sounds like me. <laughs> no, you do more than two. You're a jack of all trades. Master of none. Right. <laughs> Well, I'm um, going to be using the um, bit of wood and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making a wooden box and um, this is what's going to be in our wooden box uh, so that we can have our power, uh, a couple of extra uh, power sockets are on the boat. Um, and that way we won't have to drill any more holes in poor old time. So I finally managed to um, stick my little bits of wood, which I did in banger together, varnish them all up. And now you can see that this is going to be our electrical socket. Um, looks a lot nicer than a white placky box. Um, and hopefully you'll see this in a future episode when we finally <laughs> get round to doing the AC electrical circuit, which will probably be next year knowing us. Well, it's not going to plan. Well, it's sort of going to plan. Um, partly going to plan. I've <laughs> <laughs> so I've... what kind of plan is it? Uh, it's a plan that's going to require an enormous amount of effort. I mean, if I keep at this for another day or two, I'll probably get it done. And that will be this one done. <laughs> I've got another two to do yet. Well, we um, haven't even made one. And we haven't even made one of those. So basically, by the end of the week, I might have finished this because um, it's just proving a lot more fiddly and time consuming. So we might have to look for an alternative solution at the DIY shop. Yeah, uh, I know what you mean, and make because um, we do like the surrounds, don't we, Bev? The surrounds are great. I mean, they'll they'll really set it off, and when it's when it's set into the surround, it looks it looks good. You know, it um, it's nicely set off and things. So it does look good, but we just never thought about how to attach the plate to the wood, and that's our downfall. Because really, a lot of the cutting I'm doing now should have been done while I had the wood in pieces and. Now I've put it all together. It might actually be quicker to start with a fresh piece of wood and cut it all in and do it all in one go, but it just might be quicker still to buy a box and put a wood surround on it, so we might wind up doing that. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to have to look into it. Tidy up. Yeah, cover up the evidence. <laughs> Tidy up. <laughs> anyway, um... Although I absolutely adore these wooden um, surrounds that we made, uh, I'm afraid to say I've um, gone out and bought some. Because uh, as Beverly said, um, we hadn't thought about the screws and things like that. But I really hate this on the boat. So I've actually got some um, vinyl veneers. Wooden veneers? Wooden, well, yeah, wooden vinyl veneers. They're not vinyl, they're wood. Okay, the wood. Vinyl's plastic. Yes, you're right. They're actually wood veneers. Thank you. Uh, the, I've got some wood veneers in my craft box, but I'll tell you now, it's not coming out anytime soon. <laughs> um, and I'm going to try uh, putting those on because I just don't like this white. It's um, We want it to look stylish. Can you turn that box around because they can see that we paid £4,300 for it. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> no, we did not. I'd like them to think we paid for a much cheaper box. Okay, well I cast... This this will just be a, a nice surround because what I don't want to see is the plastic white box. I just like, ugh. It just sends a shiver up my... <laughs> it's like, no, no, I'm not having it. So if I don't want it, there's only one way to sort it out and that's do it myself. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so I've got my four pieces on. I'm going to just um, check that I've got everything right before I start putting CT1 everywhere. So as I say, by using this tape on the outside, it means that everything is tight. Leave your shirt. So yeah, so I've tested, checked that. That looks okay. So now that I've checked it, I'm going to put the um, oh, the CT1 on. Whew. Now, Beverly did some beautiful pressure. Oh, let's get my uh, gloves on because that's a definite because um, this stuff is as messy as heck um, having your gloves is a, is a definite need uh, right okay so I'm just going to put the that on so that will actually just stuck it down a little bit and let's just see if I can actually do a, a single bead Whoa, let's just see. Constant pressure, says Beverly. <laughs> I want the backs to be absolutely straight so I'm going to start with the back to the back and hopefully I've got this all right just going to put that uh, on a bit Right, so I've got the back straight. You can see here they're going to be flat. So if I push this now against my, um, I'm going to be using an envelope in this case. It'll just mean that it's all perfect. So I'm just going to push that all in and flat. And I'm getting quite a bit of squeeze through on this side, which is exactly what I want. Yeah, I'm... I'm quite pleased with that. Obviously, we'll see what the uh, results are uh, like tomorrow. But overall, yes, I'm going to be quite happy. Right, well, um, these are my boxes. Let's go see what they're like. I'm glad to see that there's not much um, black on the wood. Uh, there's one hole that um, has got a bit of a gap because uh, I haven't squeezed it out sufficiently. But other than that, I'm quite happy with those. Once a bit of uh, sanding uh, will be done, um, I think they're going to look quite good. Yep, yeah, they're going to look great. This is the um, finished result of our um, putting the wood around the outside and um, once we put the plates in it'll look like that um i've had to um take off one lot of varnish because it was still tacky after five days so i just said you know that was no good the varnish so they are a little bit darker than i'd wanted but um needs must but at least now i can look, put it against the bulkhead and i can look at it and think yes I'm fine with that whereas the white plastic boxes I just like 
it was just like, no. So we, Beverly and I, we want the boat to look good, don't we, Bev? Totally. Um, and, um, yeah. So, anyway, so we're going to put them up now and we're going to actually run the wires. <laughs> oh, my God. The wires that we fitted about a month ago. <laughs> I think it was more like six weeks, maybe not. But, yeah. About a month ago, we run the cable. We actually now need to actually terminate it. Okay, looks like we're back to the drawing board here. And we were just testing it all out. And what we found was that um, we had it, the, you know, backwards. Yeah.